Hello, and welcome to our lesson on factoring special products. So we've already looked at different ways to factor <clears throat> trinomials, especially when they had leading exponents or leading coefficients, sorry, leading coefficients of one. And then in our second lesson, we looked at trinomials where the leading coefficient was a value other than one. Now in this lesson, we are going to look at a few special cases mainly focused on the idea of difference of two squares and perfect square trinomials. So a refresher on difference of two squares. Difference of two squares is something written as this piece here, a plus b times a minus b, which is the same thing as a squared minus b squared. So when we look at this, if we were given a problem like x squared minus 9, a, in this case, would just be x, and b would be 3, because if 9 is in the place of b squared, the square root of that is 3. So if we're given x squared minus 9, our answer, when we factor that, is x plus 3 times x minus 3. So if it's ever a difference of two squares, it's just your variable in front, a plus minus setup, and then the square root of that second number is what you put in the plus and the minus spot for b. <clears throat> so if you're given a squared minus b squared, the answer to factor that is the difference of two squares, so a plus b times a minus b. Then we have our perfect square trinomials. So that's this case, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And when we factor that, we get a plus b in parentheses to the second power. So, if we're looking at x squared plus 6x plus 9, that is a perfect square trinomial, takes the form of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, we could factor that to x plus 3 times x plus 3, <clears throat> or simply write that using the shortcut here of x plus 3 in parentheses, to the second power. Now, if we have subtraction in the middle of a perfect square trinomial, like x squared minus 6x plus 9, then our final answer is a minus b in parentheses to the second power. So then, x squared minus 6x plus 9 would be x minus 3 times x minus 3, or simply x minus 3 in parentheses to the second power. So, in example 1 here, a, b, c, and d, we're looking at the difference of two squares. So if we're given n squared minus 64, we know our first term on both is n. Because it's subtraction here, again, difference of two squares, we know it's a plus minus, and the square root of 64 is 8, so n plus 8 times n minus 8. <clears throat> now, in b, we have 4x squared minus 25. So if we were to figure out a and b, we would square root both of these. So a is the square root of 4x squared, which is 2x. The square root of 25 is 5. So our answer for a plus b would be 2x plus 5 times a minus b, 2x minus 5. In C, 121x squared minus 144. Both of these are perfect squares, and we have a difference of two squares with the subtraction. 
So again, I know it's a plus minus. The square root of 121x squared is 11x. Square root of 121 is 11. Then square root of 144 is 12. So 11x plus 12 times 11x minus 12. <clears throat> and then in D, 81p squared minus 49. So I know it's a difference of two squares because both 81 and 49 are perfect squares. So square root of 81p squared is 9p. Square root of 49 is 7. So 9p plus 7 times 9p minus 7. Now in example 2, we know it is <clears throat> perfect square trinomials. So in this case, what I care about is the sign in the middle and the sign at the end. And then we have to figure it out from there. So if the sign at the end is a plus, sign in the middle is a minus. So if we have x squared minus 8x plus 16. So we know it's a positive 16 at the end minus 8x in the middle. So if it's that set up, a minus and then a plus, I know it's going to be a subtraction in my answer. Because again, we are looking at these two examples up here. So a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Our final answer is a minus b in parentheses to the second power. <clears throat> so square root of x squared is just x. Square root of 16 is 4, so our answer would be x minus 4 in parentheses to the second power. In B, x squared plus 40x plus 400. Square root of x squared is x. It's a plus in this case because the middle term is addition. And then the square root of 400 is 20, so our final answer would be x plus 20 in parentheses, to the second power. In C, 9y squared minus 12y plus 4. So in this case, the square root of 9y squared is 3y. Square root of 4 is 2. And because it's subtraction in the middle, we know it's subtraction here. So 3y minus 2 in parentheses to the second power. And then in D, 36c squared plus 60c plus 25. So we know it's addition. Square root of 36c squared is 6c. Square root of 25 is 5. And that is to the second power. <clears throat> so then finally, we need to look at how we solve using these special products. So again, the steps for solving, we want to make sure it's in standard form and equal to zero. Then we factor the left-hand side and set each piece equal to zero to solve. So if I'm looking at A, I have 9x squared minus 16 equals zero. Already standard form, and I know on the left, 9x minus 16 is the difference of two squares. So when I factor that, the square root of 9x squared is 3x. Square root of 16 is 4. So I have 3x plus 4 times 3x minus 4 equals 0. You split your two binomials. 3x plus 4 equals 0. 3x minus 4 equals 0. And we solve for x. So on the left, we would subtract 4 and divide by 3. <clears throat> so x is a negative 4 thirds. On the right, we have to add 4 and then divide by 3. So x would be a positive 4 thirds. Now in B, I have to get it equal to 0 first. So I will have to add the 25 to each side to get that back to 0 because it's a negative. So our setup is 4x squared minus 20x plus 25 equals 0. 
then we have to factor this piece here. In this case, it's a perfect square trinomial, and it's subtraction in the middle. So my setup would be square root of 4x squared is 2x, square root of 25 is 5, because the subtraction here, we end up with 2x minus 5 in parentheses squared. Now that's the same as 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. So when we solve it, because they're the same piece, we only have to solve it once. So 2x minus 5 equals 0. Add 5, divide by 2, and x is 5 halves. Then C and D. So on C, x squared plus 81 equals negative 18x. Have to add the 18x to get it equal to 0. So x squared plus 18x plus 81 equals 0. Perfect square trinomial. In the middle, it's addition. So that comes down. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 81 is 9. So x plus 9 to the second power. Only need to solve that once because it's the same thing. x plus 9 equals 0. So x equals negative 9. And then D, our final example for today. 49x squared equals 121. So bring the 121 over by subtracting it. 49x squared minus 121 equals 0. That would give us a difference of two squares. 49x squared is 7x. 121, or sorry, 49x squared, the square root of that is 7x. The square root of 121 is 11. So we have 7x plus 11 times 7x minus 11. Each equals 0. So 7x plus 11 equals 0. Subtract 11, divide by 7, and we have a negative 11 sevenths. On the right, 7x minus 11 equals 0. Add 11, divide by 7, and x equals 11 sevenths. <clears throat> then again, word problem at the bottom. We don't need to worry about the summer. That's just for the regular school year. So if you want to take a look at it, feel free, but I'm not going to worry about it for this lesson.